Romantic Revival The closing years of the 18th century and the beginning of 19th century witnessed revolutionary changes in many fields. The forces generated by the French Revolution in 1789 shook the very fabric of European and English society. The principle of liberty, equality, and fraternity galvanized the moment and literature of democracy soon came into being. It was eagerly awaited everywhere. The term Romanticism has been variously defined by various writers. Walter Pater calls it addition of strangeness to beauty. Theodore Watts Dunton calls it wonder. Victor Hugo considers democratic spirit as the most significant aspect of romantic art and describes it as liberalism in literature. According to Professor Herford, it is entirely ordinary development of imaginative sensibility. Emile Legouis gets in it, predominance of emotional life. American scholar, Lovejoy has observed that the word romantic has come to mean so many things. It can be emotional, fanciful, mysterious, heroic, natural etc. It is a search for pleasure and beauty through different objects. Attempt was made to liberate literature from strict rules and conventions of classical school of poetry. Rousseau, the French thinker and philosopher was mostly responsible for the vital changes in literature. Characteristics of the Romantic School of Poetry Rousseau advocated the philosophy of go back to nature. Nature proved to be a golden treasury for the Romantic writers. William Wordsworth sang the glory and greatness of nature, so, he has been called worshipper of nature. He looked to nature as a teacher, guide and the guardian. To words with nature was an answer to the problems of man. John Keats felt that nature would gratify all the five senses. Shelley found an answer in the activities of objects in nature and rational ground. Coleridge saw something more in nature and took the readers to supernatural world. Love of the past, remote and mysterious Middle Ages are important features of romantic poetry. There are superstitions, witchcraft, magic, fairy tales and other interesting things related to the supernatural world. As a result, we come across beautiful and imaginative picture of life. Imagination is a vital force in romantic poetry. It was a kind of divine faculty through which it is possible to see into the heart of things. The Romantic poets believed in simple theme and feeling. Owing to their approach, their attitude to life and literature was more liked. Literature came out of restricted area to the open field because there was a desire for search of something new and strange. The spirit of inquiry was in progress. The Romantic poets gave importance to human emotions. Romanticism is a revolt against literary tradition and authority. In Romantic poetry, we come across emotional experience of the poets. There is interplay of pleasure and pain, hopes and disappointment in their poems. As a result, the reader can see beautiful lyrics in Romantic poetry. As it is emotional, it is highly melodious and subjective in tone. Romantic literature is more subjective because it expresses human sentiments. The poets have given free expression to their feelings about the objects that have inspired them. Therefore, romantic poetry is more spontaneous. According to William Wordsworth poetry is a spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings. In 1798, Coleridge and Wordsworth published lyrical ballads. Wordsworth focused his attention on nature and Coleridge preferred the supernatural elements, covering a vast area of human interest. The language of the Romantic writers was simple because they expressed feelings of a common man. According to Wordsworth, it is a language of a man speaking to man in the language of man. So, in Romanticism, there is use of simple and rustic language and variety of subjects. Owing to its language Romantic poetry could attract many readers. The poems should be enjoyed by all. We can say that Classicism signifies order in beauty whereas Romanticism is for the addition of strangeness to beauty. 
Therefore, it is one of the fertile periods in the history of English literature. Please, subscribe Literature Guide.